joining me on a discussion show is the CEO of Abu Dhabi Cricket, uh, Matthew Boucher. We also have senior cricket writer K.R. Nair uh, with us on the show. Matthew, uh, to you first, we do know that you are also in charge of organizing a bio bubble. Um, what is the way forward for a team from here once their uh, players test positive players and officials test positive for coronavirus? Well, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, thank you for having me on. Uh, I'll speak on behalf of the teams that are currently being hosted in, Ab in Abu Dhabi, which is uh, both the Calcutta Knight Riders and the Mumbai Indians. Calcutta Knight Riders are staying at the Ritz-Carlton. Uh, Mumbai Indians are staying at Sadia Island. And uh, today we will be opening up our biosecure facility here, our Airbridge facility at Abu Dhabi Cricket. Mm -hmm. uh, Calcutta, have, Calcutta have just left the hotel. They will be arriving here in 20 minutes. And Mumbai Indians are scheduled for a 7.30 start tonight. So both teams will be welcomed into a biosecure training facility, which is 15,000 square meters. Uh, it's fenced appropriately. It's sanitized appropriately. We have the Department of Health on site. We have uh, ambulatory services uh, in mm -hmm. case anything is needed from the player perspective and the coaching staff perspective. And uh, we can't wait to get started with both our Abu Dhabi hosted teams, Kolkata and Mumbai Indians. Kair Nair, uh, let me come to you. Uh, could you please uh, tell us, tell our viewers, what would be the way forward for the Chennai Super Kings team from here on? What I do understand is that they will not be able to resume their practice session and get into the bio bubble uh, from today, which they were expected to initially. Yes, it's very clear that there is no point in getting into the bubble with coronavirus, right? So it is very, very important that those people have to be kept out of the bubble. And let me tell you the arrangements which I saw at the ICC Academy for the bubble as is perfect mm -hmm. because nobody can reach anywhere near the players. From the parking lot, from the parking lot, they have put a ra railings all around. And you can see players only like a dot. Mm -hmm. So, which means that the authorities here have taken all precaution. Once a player comes into a bubble that is well protected. Mm -hmm. So the point is that if a player, as the news has come out that, uh, or some staff members have they have to be kept out and they they have to be isolated mm -hmm. and which is what will happen mm -hmm. because if any kind of problem starts and it spreads right. it is going to affect the tournament in mm -hmm. a big way matthew let me come to you um you know we don't have sure. a schedule yet of uh, the ipl and uh, you know, there are various stories in India that it's being delayed because of rising cases in Abu Dhabi or the fact that teams are still testing and they don't know how many teams will be able to get into the bubble. Do you think that an incident like this can further delay the schedule of the IPL, which the fans have been waiting for? Uh, well, I'll say a couple of things in response to that. I mean, firstly, the reports that the cases are on the rise in Abu Dhabi and, and are incorrect. With the NSEMA, which is the national crisis for emergency management. Mm -hmm. Each day they report the federal cases in the United Arab Emirates. So uh, in the UAE, we have seen a slight incline from 150 cases maybe 10 days ago to the mid 300s over the last uh, couple of days, but it's still all within the last uh, maybe 14 days. Everything's been within the 150 to 400 cases per day. Mm -hmm. So, so nobody can tell you the cases in Abu Dhabi against the cases in Dubai, against the cases in Omar Quain. We are working off of federal UAE-wide reporting. Mm -hmm. um, and, and secondly, you know, I think it's, it's very important to understand, obviously, the BCCI have got a medical team on board. They've employed a fantastic company, an excellently professional company called Restrata. Uh, they're working together with the Emirates Cricket Board on these protocols for the tournament as a whole. Mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, you know, there's a well-publicized border between Dubai and Abu Dhabi currently. But, you know, thousands of people are crossing that border. Uh, every, every day of the week. So it, it's it, as long as the testing rotation is in accordance for the match, match schedule, mm -hmm. that's then reflected in the BCCI SOPs, the standard operating procedures for the event, which are very, very uh, in-depth and comprehensive. Mm 
and therefore the match schedule is simply uh, in tune and in partnership with the testing schedule for the players and the support staff. It's, uh, it, of course, needs to be calculated and worked out, but it's certainly not a hindrance for the match schedule. Uh, Ker Nair, please uh, tell us now that, uh, you know, the, uh, the Chennai Super Kings players, one player and several uh, team officials have tested positive uh, for coronavirus. Do you see that this result has come from the sixth day of testing? Because they must have been tested on the first, third and the sixth day of their reaching uh, Dubai. Uh, and, and the first two results had come negative. Yeah, the thing is that the UAE will not compromise on anything, you know, especially when it comes to uh, the procedures mm -hmm. and everything. See, in certain countries, you know, for, for UAE officials, UAE government, they, are, they will all be treated like normal, whoever it is. You know, you can be a great cricketer, you can be anybody. But here, everyone has to follow the procedure. Mm -hmm. You see, for example, why did we uh, control the uh, corona, the spread of coronavirus so well is basically because the, once the government sets the rules, mm -hmm. everyone will follow. Mm -hmm. that, is the, that is a procedure here. Matthew, it is Matthew, let me ask funny. you a question about Abu Dhabi. Uh, apparently, the rule in Abu Dhabi is that you have to quarantine yourself for 14 days. But the Kolkata Knight Riders and Mumbai Indians are getting to circumvent that rule and get into the bio bubble and start practicing today. How is that happening? Yeah, it's an excellent question. So the regulations and the rules in Abu Dhabi are for a 14 day quarantine, which is set by the local government, the local emirate here. Uh, so what we have done is uh, there's uh, essentially every player in Abu Dhabi has undertaken four tests in eight days, mm -hmm. including the departure PCR test from India. Mm -hmm. So on day one, day three, day six, as you correctly said, um, here in the UAE, we have received uh, full negative tests for both teams for day one, day three, day six. We've received those on the morning of day seven. That's taken us uh, the best part of 24 hours to process with um, our government partners here, Abu Dhabi Sports Council, Department of Health, the police and uh, some other authorities, they are extremely comfortable with our uh, recommendation towards an air bridge facility. So it's essentially an extension of quarantine here at Abu Dhabi Cricket, mm -hmm. which will be open from four o'clock until 10 o'clock, right. sanitized pre and in the middle and at the end with the authorities um, making sure that uh, we're adhering to the rules and regulations and the players are as comfortable as possible with our plans. So the, the players will be going from hotel to Abu Dhabi Cricket, mm -hmm. the Magnificent Zai Cricket Stadium, back to the hotel for the next six days until we're at day 14, which is the end of the Abu Dhabi quarantine period. So they'll be extremely comfortable here. That we're in touch with both team managers mm -hmm. uh, and we're looking forward to hosting them at uh, very imminently at four o'clock Abu Dhabi time today. Uh uh, Matthew, um, I would just like to ask you a question that would uh, uh, possibly not be applicable for the two franchises that you are taking care of, the KKR and Mumbai Indians. But help me understand if few of the uh, uh, team members have tested positive for COVID-19, can they be isolated and the rest be allowed to enter uh, a bio bubble and start practicing? The reason that I ask this question is it's really ironic for uh, Chennai Super Kings to get into this situation, given that they were the first to start practicing and preparing for the IPL. Yeah, I, I mean, with, with all due respect to the question, I, I don't want to comment too much on the Chennai Super Kings um, situation with, um, in Dubai. Mm -hmm. uh, but, but what I will say is I'd like to just refer back to those protocols. Everything is unbelievably planned by both the BCCI and the Dubai and Abu Dhabi and Sharjah government. So, you know, when we are hosting these teams, there are isolation zones. We do have the right recourse if there is a positive case. It's all well planned. So I have no doubt that the authorities in Dubai, together with the Emirates Cricket Board and Chennai Super Kings, uh, will go through the correct process now to re-enter the bubble uh, and then proceed forward. We do, we do have uh, a number of days, over, you know, still three weeks until the start of the tournament, so they might be missing out on valuable practice time, but nothing is important than health and well-being of their staff and players. Mr. Nair, would you take up that question? Uh, could you, can you give us some idea of 
what can happen to the team can the rest of the team members start practicing while these people who've tested positive for the virus are isolated yeah uh, see like matt said uh, it is very very important that the procedures and the and the details that has been laid down for the players for the teams have to be followed here at mm -hmm. all cost so once the procedure is followed once this is done one uh, period of where you have to undergo that they can very well join there is right. nothing wrong but the, the the point is that if these people have also interacted with some of the other members mm -hmm. then everyone has to go through mm -hmm. for example i know certain um offices where the, the who are working no, but, here. Uh, Mr. Nair, I would, I would just butt in there. I don't think these team members would have interacted with each other because ever since they came into, as, as in they reached the UAE, they have been put into yeah. different rooms and each uh, member yes. have been told that they cannot at any cost uh, uh, have any one-on-one -on -one interaction with the other. So I don't see there have been a chance of anyone having interacted with the other person, which is why I'm asking this question, can those people be isolated and the rest of the squad be put in the park? Uh, as, as Matt said, they, the, the procedure can be, if, if they can be isolated, they can be kept in a different uh, mm -hmm. this thing till they recover and they pro completed the procedure, they can right. very well join because I saw the, the see, as far as the arrangements for the bio bubble, Mm -hmm. What I witnessed, what mm -hmm. I saw is perfect. So right. once you enter the bubble, I think they will be protected. Right. Thank you very much, Matthew Baucha and uh, K.R. Nair for joining me Thank and you. clarifying the big news. The news is that one Chennai Super Kings bowler has tested positive for coronavirus and several team officials, they'll now be isolated. And the news from the team is that they will be in quarantine till the 1st of September. Time for us to take...